Hi friends, this is a welding topic and we are talking about what is the key difference between actual throat, effective throat and theoretical throat. So one by one we are talking about this actual throat, effective throat and theoretical throat. This is related to, related to in welding. So friends look first of all, this is a convex welding. This is a convex welding like this and concave welding like this. So here first of all you see convex welding. So friends first of all you see this is a weld face. This portion is known as weld face. You see first of all nomenclature of welding. So this portion is known as weld face. This portion and this portion is known as toe. Okay. And this portion is known as root. Welding root. That is a root. So all about this nomenclature you see here. Friends, this is a dotted line. This is a theoretically draw in the welding and this is a two plates this is a t1 and suppose t2 then these two plates are meet here and here to this line is known as a theoretical throat this portion to this imaginary line distance is known as theoretical throat that is a a and how it can calculate it we discuss earlier okay so friends but in actual this is a welding this is a total welding this face is total welding and this is a theoretical throat denoted by a and from this distance this imaginary line to this root penetration this line is known as effective throat friends again you see here clearly this imaginary line to this actual welding penetration distance is known as effective throat that is denoted by AE effective throat this line to this and again this line to this weld face distance between root penetration here to weld face this distance is what actual throat that is denoted by AA. So keep in mind friends this is a theoretical throat root to this imaginary line theoretical throat and penetrations between distance between penetration to this imaginary line is a effective throat and this penetration to this weld face distance is a actual throat. Friends, one more thing, this is a root because these two plate are meet here, this distance to this is a weld size, this is a welding, this distance between root to this welding is a root penetration, this distance is known as a root penetration and friends, this weld face to this imaginary line, this distance is known as convexity. Convexity. Okay. This imaginary line to this weld face distance is known as a convexity. Okay. And this is a in convex welding. Because of this is a convex welding. So this is a convexity. Now we move here in concave fillet weld. This is a convex fillet weld and this is a concave fillet weld. So friends in concave fillet weld this is a actual like concave this is actual welding and this is a draw line this is a imaginary line so imaginary line to this root this is a two plates meet here so this root between distance between this root to this imaginary line is a theoretical throat and this is a weld penetration here this line to this imaginary line is known as a effective throat and this is a weld this total weld phase distance to this weld is known as a actual throat and distance between this imaginary line to this weld phase is a concavity and here root from this welding distance is known as a root penetration that means how much 
this welding is penetrated in this root so that is a concave welding and this is a convex welding thank you one more thing friends this distance is known as leg length and this distance is known as a throat that is a a so what is the relation between this and this that leg length z equals to root 2 multiply throat thickness a this is a driven formula and also we derived this and how can this driven you see my videos thank you